I think the key really for us has been coordination. Uh, we, in the last sort of three to five years in particular, I think have put a lot of time and effort in uh, to coordinating every aspect of our winemaking process. So being a lot more prescriptive, I suppose, in terms of what the goal is at the end and how we're going to get there. Murder Craig has changed uh, quite a lot from the original um, vineyard that uh, they established at Kangaroo Ground is on one side of the Yarra Valley and there it's a warm site so there they have Shiraz Cabernet Sauvignon etc and much more recently they acquired a vineyard um, on the other side of the valley uh, under the Black Spur, uh, a very cool site. So now they've got uh, the best of both worlds. There's a lot of joy that comes from being able to drink wine that came from fruit grown on your own property. Uh, I think that's the thing that Steve, my father, enjoys most about it, tinkering around in the vineyard, uh, being involved in all aspects of it, uh, from right from the vineyard through to the bottle. The son, Travis, um, is now in command and is obviously doing a really good job. He's taking it out of, I wouldn't say obscurity, but just taking it out of the normal quality wineries that get into the book. For us it was a great moment because, and particularly the fact that it's Dark Horse, we, we, we recognise that we're still got a way to go to become wine of the year and winery of the year, but Dark Horse was a great award and I'm really glad this is the one that we got because to me Dark Horse represents uh, uh, reward for effort, recognition of change, and certainly that's something that we've been really focusing on a lot at Boda Craigo.